I just, I read that you, um, what did I Okay, I read on IMDb trivia that you actually own, like, a whole bunch of My Little Ponies. Yeah! Are you the, the, the number one collector in America of My Little Ponies? No, nah, that's probably impossible, but, uh, because there's so much stuff, they take up a lot of room. How many My Little Ponies do you have? Um, I have bins and they're all individually wrapped and organized with their hair done, like, look, ponies. Like oh, ponies. Oh, there's ponies. There's ponies on my thing. Isn't that cute? That's it. And mace. Because yeah. it's Hollywood. You need to have mace when you're a chick. I can't oh, okay. believe I haven't used this yet. You got the mace. Oh, well, maybe awesome. I have. You've never used this, so you uh, know how yeah, to use it. Yeah, never use that if anyone asks. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your favorite My Little Pony? My favorite? That's really hard. Because it kind of changes with your emotion. Is that weird? Yeah. It's kind of weird. That is kind of weird. Have you right. heard the pony? I'm not a like real ride, one. You like riding horses or no? I, I used to ride horses in, in high school. Yeah. Did you ever dress up as a pony? That was my Halloween costume last year. Oh my god. I was a unicorn. Oh. And at Comic Con. I went to Comic Con as a unicorn one of my days off. When I wasn't promoting my films, I was a unicorn. That's kinda hot actually. Oh that's weird. That shouldn't be hot. Why? But if you find it hot, no, it is. slightly it is. inappropriate. It is. No, it's very hot. <laughs> Will you be at the con this year? Of course. Um, King of the Nerds is doing season two, so yeah. we're hopefully gonna push that and I get to be the living Japanime figure again. Whoa, whoa. What are you going to be at Japan? Will you be outside? Yeah. Uh, You'll be inside, right? I'll be inside. But hopefully we'll see you outside. They do events. Uh, the Playboy party is always really big. They have a different theme. Last year it was True Blood. Uh -huh. um, the year before that it was uh, Camp Playboy. They're tying to a movie. It's always like the best party too. Now, you uh, t you also kiss a uh, UFC fighter. He put his lips on oh. and he, he tattooed his, your lips onto his body. Yeah. Who was the, who was the fighter? Um, he was just on uh, Rico Rodriguez who just got a DUI. Yeah, his lips are permanently, my lips are permanently on his ass. It's on his ass? Yeah, it's on his ass. So you kissed it? No, no, I kissed it on a piece of paper and then the tattoo artist put that on there. You knew it's on there forever. That's what you get for breaking up with me. Oh, you're with Sucka. him. Oh, <laughs> now every other yeah. chick's gonna look at my lips on your ass. <laughs> How'd that DUI go? Wet reckless, I saw. All right. TMZ. Whoa. Uh, Where's there a place you wouldn't want to get a tattoo? Where's there a place that you? Is there a place that you told him not to get a tattoo of your lips? Dude, he just did it. He he's kind of impulsive like that. That is not my responsibility. How it ended up on my IMDb, I don't even know. It was on my Facebook at the time because it's pretty funny. <laughs> That's cool. He made him bigger than mine. Is that weird? What? Because his, his ass is so big that he they had to enlarge my lips. Because <laughs> he said it looked too small on his ass. It was too skinny on his yeah, ass. Yeah, like what the hell? So it's my lips. They just made it bigger. They fit on his big fat ass. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's what he got. All right, thanks, Mindy. No problem. See you. <laughs>